What's up, y'all? Got a banger from NMI Talk. Let's get straight into it. You are not the father. <laughs> are not? Bruh. She said it. I'm not the dad. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> crazy. That's not crazy. <laughs> Zariah? Yeah, she's not my baby. <laughs> Better go make some phone calls. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah. I've been telling you for he four years. He is not Zariah's biological father. Four years I've been telling you. Zariah? Don't act That's confused now. You know what, baby, we talking about. That is sad. That is the sad. The fact that she tried to act stupid like she didn't know what she did is really mesmerizing to me. She's like, that is so sad. <laughs> yes, it is. It's because, honey. She belongs to the streets. That's exactly why. Yeah, I have two male friends. I've known them since middle school, and I've gotten drunk with both of them, and no weird shit, never. Time. So you think if they, if given the option, if they you would were like, be like, Yo, "Girl, shut the fuck up, you being dumb." Alright, mm -hmm. we're gonna put it to the test, Hannah. Go and get the phone. What's up? Come give me some date. Excuse me. Come give me some date right now. Bria, don't ever call my phone saying some crazy shit like that. Cause I know you don't mean that. It's insane. Why are you saying it though? Like, come on, bro. Like, just pull up on me. Stop playing. Why not, bro? Cool. You tripping? Like, I I'm drunk and I want some D, and you my friend. And I feel like we've been friends for a long time, and I feel like like we know each other well enough that you should just be able to come through. If you really want to, ma'am, I do it. But see, would... this is why, this is why women cannot have male friends because I call these the on deck dudes. They're just waiting for their shot. They're waiting for their chance for her to slip up, her to be in breakup mode, her to be in a vulnerable state where he steps up and he goes, I'll be there for you, baby. I'll be your knight in shining armor. Those dudes are out there. You got to watch out for them. They stay friends with these girls for a really long time in the hopes that just one day she will do this exact thing and she will call and she will be drunk and she will be ready to buck. All right, I got a treat for old dude back there. Loki. Loki. You want a carrot? Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. He loves carrots. I know that's really weird that a dog likes carrots, but he absolutely loves carrots. Would still be thinking you're not serious. Like right? I, I just see how far you would go just to tell you, like, side can again. I'm serious, so you would pull see? up on me right now. If you was in Georgia, yes. Yeah. Are still <laughs> men. See? Men are there animals. is no such thing as a platonic guy friend. And a woman will still call you insecure when you don't want her to have guy friends. Facts. Plus, how do you feel about dating a porn star? Like a male porn star? No, just like normal guy to date you. Oh, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's being miserable. Over sexualizing and like don't take you serious. Like just assuming that all you want to do is smash and, and I'm like, bitch. Well, isn't that all that you're good for though? You've based your entire career off of smashing on the internet? All you do is buck on camera. You go to work every day and get plowed by other men. Why is it stupid for us to assume that's all you want to do? I mean, that doesn't sound very stupid to me. It sounds actually pretty smart. This is why I always say women are marketers and men are salesmen, right? Women, you market to the type of man that you want to buy the product, right? So if you're marketing yourself as a 304 or as a corn star, don't expect men to come in and want to treat you like Princess Diana. It doesn't happen like that. What you market is what we want to buy. So if you're marketing, you know, sluz behavior, then that's what we're going to buy. It's as simple as that. Come on. Right. I am a wifey. I want to do your dishes. I want to clean. And yes, we should have like Stupid. three times. Girls, don't be so but... hard on yourself. Are you saying that you think you're undateable? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. Duh, you're a porn star. Your job is literally to get your pum pum rammed out. Yeah, come so on. So no man will ever take you seriously ever again. No, yeah. ever. No, no man ever will want to take a woman serious that does that on camera. It's it's like the it's like the scarlet letter, right? You do that and you are marked by society as lower value. And us as men, we know this and we go, you know what? Not gonna be um, not gonna be dating this kind of girl. Not gonna want to be taking her serious because it makes us look stupid too. Like if we're gonna take you serious as a corn star, like that's that's part of the sympademic, which we're not a part of that, fellas. We're not a part of that. Dating advice. After the age of 25, stop dating for love. That's her dating advice. Best dating advice. After the age of 25, stop dating for love. Modern women are doomed. Okay. So what are we getting for? Money. 
most men that women go for after the it, age of here's the thing if you're dating for money it sounds like you're a prosy i'm gonna just keep it a buck if you're only looking for money then hop on the streets 25 is just a beta male provider what's the freaky shit you ever did the freaky shit i ever did you really want to know that's why i asked all right so one time i seen my daddy nut on a towel <laughs> He was in his room beating his meat, and he had nutted on the towel, and I picked it up, and um, no. I scooped the nut off the towel, and I played with myself with my vibrator, and then I took like one of the little teardrop uh, suctions, and I took his nut and put it in me. Yo, daddy. That's the freaking shit I did. The fuck is wrong with you? God I just want to see Bree. if my kids would really look like my daddy. <laughs> Lord, <how nice. laughs> oh, so like, how long have you been crazy? This was the video that made me take a break. I was what? not joking at the starting of the video when I say this is crazy. I mean, these two niggas were standing. They was brothers. They was brothers. They were standing. At Miss Throat Queen. throat queen but i'm sure she's a 10 an outstanding citizen of society and we better treat her with respect <laughs> next to each other high-fiving each other like oh shit i was just right there like <laughs> great you just told the whole entire world how you are a 304 we really need wow. to bring back shame when i'm so i've given threesomes in the past to men that i've been with without a problem and i had no feeling or emotion attached to it but the guy that i'm currently with right now in the beginning of our relationship like the first month i was like oh i want to see you girl or whatever whatever and um because i always felt like it, it was like two sides a, a, one part of it was like i want to see a guy i want to see him do it so that if he was to ever cheat on me i'm numb to it oh that's what it looks like it's not like a big what? deal you know that was like always like a part of hey, it for me just on he's into watching so like if it ever happened and he's ever i was like oh it's not a big deal i know what it looks like but the current guy that i'm with now in the beginning like the first month i used to talk my and tell him that but now i would never like i don't even want him to look another way you know and this is the first guy that i've ever felt like that with like so moral of the story is the good guy always gets the short end of the stick great yeah. now you bitches you bitch taking this shit too, way too far just because prostitution is legal in cali don't mean you creative ass bitches gotta do this looking for a real woman <laughs> Come on, dude. I know y'all be ashamed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this that is horrible. Advertising that pussy. Don't worry, you will see the same woman 30 years later in your local Walmart working. If a guy is giving you too much attention, mm -hmm. what does that do for you? Major turn off. Why? I think it's, I don't know, it's kind of unhealthy to say, but there's just like too much of a good thing. Not a good thing. There's no chase. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no grab point. So. Women are hypergamous in nature, man. This is why I say you can't give them too much attention, can't pay too close attention to them. You can't give them all of your time. Like, you really got to treat them like you're in the third grade again. You got to pick on them. Don't pay attention to them. Make them need and yearn for your attention because when you do, this is what they think. Ah, well, I'm too good for him. I need to go out there and fight for a guy's attention. Women are hypergamous in nature. Therefore, you need to be better than them at all points. You need to act like their time is less valuable than yours. Now, does this suck? Because as guys, we don't see that. When we hang out with like our homies, where we hang out with people, we like value each other's time. We're like, hey, your time's valuable, my time's valuable. But when you're with a girl, it's completely the opposite. You have to know that your time is more valuable than hers because if you don't, then she's not going to see you as a, as a superior. Therefore, she's going to think you're inferior. Hypergamy, they're always shooting up, right? So you always have to act like you're better. Does it suck? Yes, because that's not how we usually do it with our guy friends. Like we don't think we're, I don't think I'm better than any of my guy friends. I think we're all equals. We're, we're homies. We're cool. We all were raised up together. But women, you have to treat it completely differently, man. It's sad, but that's the reality. So, because it maybe feels like validation seeking. Mm -hmm. They're checking in all the time to see. Yeah. Or oftentimes it can come off as controlling. Mm. Where are you, what are you doing? What are you up to? Mm. Love okay. it. You see what I mean? The good guys always get the short end of the stick. Rough body count. I know it's three because it's not that many. <laughs> Between like 30 Damn. and like 70. Damn. Somewhere around there. Yep. 
The math seems off. I think if you said like okay, 10 I'm not, to 15, yeah, I'm, but yeah, 30 to 70, that's a very wide gap. Speaking of wide gaps, no, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> Speaking of wide gaps, she may know a little bit about that. That's the truth. You, but that's up there, especially like for an 18 year old. I'm not here to judge anybody or anything Wait, like she's that. she's 18? At, but. You see what I told you? The next generation 30 is to 70? Cooked. How are you 18 with that much bodies? It defines a nice guy. That's a really good question. I've never met a nice guy in my entire life. Okay. Oh, let me use woman logic real quick. Who Stop hurt the you? Cap, dude. Dad, have you ever looked me up? Yes, I have. He watches all my videos, right? Everyone. He loves my TikToks. Every single TikTok. Very supportive. Mm -hmm. The fact that you actually used your real dad to... Per what? Your dad is watching your OF content? Put this man in jail. Isn't there laws against incest and stuff? Oh my God, that's nasty. Look at him, he's like, here, here, I'll go to this room. Yeah, I, I, you know, I watch all Rebecca's videos. Golly. Promote your OnlyFans and your dad agrees with it and watches your content too. It's just straight <sighs> diabolical. Would you rather marry a guy who is rich, buys you a ton of fancy shit like Birkins, brings you on dope trips, but cheats on you <laughs> or marry a broke dude who can't buy you shit and he doesn't cheat the second one does not cheat no he don't cheat he, he, bro loves, he, broke his he loves you like literally he sends you flowers on the most random days with little teddy bears that are holding like a tiny balloon she would take the guy i'm gonna cheats. say the first guy yeah. here's why and here's why here's why this is why the women don't want loyalty dude no, not these modern women at least they just want money they're money hungry hip hosts. <laughs> That's what I've come up with. Money hungry hip hosts. That's all they want. They want money. They want the bag. Every girl's addicted to the bag nowadays. They don't want love. Love isn't valued anymore. We've lost that in these past generations. Ever since feminism has come around, we've lost what like the nuclear relationship and the nuclear family is and what love truly is. A bond between two people. It's not monetary at all. Like my grandparents were broke. My grandfather was a milkman. My grandmother was a nurse. Grandfather was a milkman. Grandmother was a nurse. Like, they lived a good middle class life and they were happy with that and they loved each other, right? Simple as that. Nowadays, a girl would look at a guy who's like a UPS driver and be like, he's a bum, right? And they'd be nurses. It, dude, it's crazy to me. <laughs> Man, if you guys have daughters, I hope you tell your daughter the right message. God, Because this ain't it. What mm -mm. do you do and how much do you make? I've had a lot of jobs. The best paying job that I've ever had so far was stripping. Some nights you can go home with like, $300, which is pretty bad. I've made 3000 in one night as well. The biggest tip I ever received, someone just handed me $1,200. Some girls are consistently making like 1.5K a night. Some girls are taking home nothing. How many nights are you working? Four nights a week. Do you have to be good at sales for that job? Yes. You need to be very smart and you need to be able to profile people and, and read a person very quickly to understand what they want and how much money's in their pocket. I've had so many jobs, like I've worked at Red Rooster, I've like scrubbed floors, I've done dishes. It's nice to be your own boss. All, all you have to do is- I love how these women think that like sex work is being your own boss. I'm an entrepreneur. No, you're not. You're just selling your body. An entrepreneur would be owning the club and getting a share of what all the other girls are getting. You're an employee. You're not an entrepreneur. You're not a boss, babe. You're going and stripping and making money. You're trading your time for money. As long as you're trading your time for money, you're gonna be an employee. A boss is owning something and having employees. You're not, I, this, the word entrepreneur has just been so bastardized. Like, all these women think they're entrepreneurs now. You're not an entrepreneur. You're a sex worker. Just, just walk in, you have to just be like fit and healthy and wanna hustle and make money. That's all they care about. What a great message to tell young girls. Get right. into stripping. Sell your body. The money is great. Awesome money. But guess what? Your dignity is never going to be intact again. Mm -hmm. I just finished my date. And I am so embarrassed. He came. And so the whole thing is we went to this restaurant he wanted to go to. And it was a little too expensive. But I, I don't know. I asked my sister for money. So we went. I had this dress on and everything. 
and I had my hair out. Like, you know, guys, I cut it. But it wasn't like this. I had it parted a little bit. And so I went in and he was like looking around like, oh, like he was looking for somebody else. And I was like, okay, I'm like, hey, I'm Tia. And then he was like, Tia. I'm like, yeah, that's for me from BLK. And then we, he was like looking confused and he told me to sit down. So I sat down, I smiled and he didn't smile back at me. And then he was like, I don't look like my pictures. That was your picture? I do look like my pictures. I don't Photoshop anything. I tell everything how it is. You I, don't look like your pictures. I'm going to insert out of the end of the video the picture I put in. You are literally dressed like you're going to get ready to go into a factory job. What do you think was going to happen? Hi, from the Gambia. Here we go! I got married. I, I should have known when I had to buy my own wedding ring. What? I don't know why I've let it happen, but... I went to his village to meet his family and he had a wife. Oh, this is one of those passport girls. It doesn't really work that way for them. <laughs> and going back to the other girl, the catfish thing, if she has, here's the biggest red flag when it comes to catfishing. If she only has neck up photos like this right here, like all of her photos are from this angle, bro, red flag. She's catfishing you, bro. Three children. What? He, he had a wife and three kids? <coughs> oh, God. And two of the children were under two. It's made me feel sick. I've come back to my friend's apartment. I've got fuck all. This is somebody grandma out in, what is it, Nambia, trying to find her a man. Passport ladies, it doesn't work the same. Passport bros are up one, though. All I've got is a bird's eye chicken pie, a tin of cream soda, and a bit of cheese and some bread, but it's going to have to last me. I phoned my ex-husband to ask him to send me some money so he's going to see or a friend's going to do a go GoFundMe page. I don't know why I let it happen. But... Uh, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're having a GoFundMe page because you went to Nambia to find a man and found out he had a wife and three kids? That doesn't constitute a GoFundMe. Let, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Does that something like that constitute a GoFundMe? No, I'm thinking GoFundMe like critical disaster, something that like your house burned down, you got in a bad car wreck, somebody got hurt. That's when you start a GoFundMe, not because you went to Nambia and got bamboozled by a guy that actually has a wife and three kids and you're not smart enough to realize that this man is just trying to get a bag out of you. Like, come on, bro. She's so st stupid. <laughs> Woman, sorry to burst your own bubble, but you deserve everything that's happening to you. How are you so desperate to a point God. that you're going to buy your own wedding ring? This glizzy goblin cop just won $500,000. Oh you remember this lady? If you don't, her name is Megan Hall. She was a police officer in Tennessee, and recently she just won $500,000. Now, if you don't remember what happened, she was in the backstage at a police station having a seven-man battle royal with 17 glizzies. <laughs> Seven man battle royal and 17 glizzies. <laughs> That's so many glizzies. She might as well start a hot dog stand. It's all hitting her from different angles, flipping her up. Her husband was at home, still watching Caillou with the kids, trying to be good dad. While she in the office, getting put through tables, getting put on top of the refrigerator. Meanwhile, her man was at home eating Cheerios, and she was getting done bad in the room. Now, what happened was, is she told the judge, hey, they manipulated me into taking all these glizzies, judge. Hey, judge, I walked into the office one day, I gave one man the bop work, and then the rest of the homies slid through and said, I want the bop work, too. And they convinced me to bop and slop them all down. Oh, and my God, I can't. I can't. I saw this story. And was, <laughs> this is crazy to me, bro. This is crazy to me. Oh, let's go back to, to one of the points that were made earlier in the video. The uh, the on deck dudes. I, I also you can also call these white knights. Like these guys that are they're they're kind of part of the sympodemic community. But what they'll do is they'll try to act like these women are their girlfriends when they're really not. They're on deck dudes. And if your girl is comfortable with having straight guy friends, bro, she. She belongs to the streets. Got to get rid of that. You, you can't be with a girl that thinks she can justify having friends that are men. I talked to a chick when I was back in Austin. She was like good friends with all of her exes. And I was like, that's a massive red flag. You still talk to all of your exes? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, and I want you to meet them. And I was like, yeah, that's a no. And so I cut that stuff off immediately. It was like one of those tenders like, hey, what's going on? Let's get to know each other. And then I find out that about her. And I was like, yeah, you're you're done. It's it's a wrap for you. You think I'm what do you think? I'm 
stupid. Like, come on. I'm, I'm not I'm not falling for that. You're friends with all your exes, so if something happens with us, you're just going to go scrambling back to them and get ran through? Damn! Yeah, I'm not putting up with that. I'm not putting up with that. Absolutely not. This is one of the biggest red flags. Biggest red flags. Shout out to you guys, man. We are so close to 20K subs, man. So close. Where are we at right now, actually? Let's double check here. Let's get into the YouTube studio. Uh, oh, 19,950. So by the time this video comes out, we'll probably be at 20K. I'm going to go ahead and manifest it like these modern women do. So shout out to you guys. I really do appreciate reaching 20K. Mad love to all you guys. Um, I've made a bunch of videos members only. So if you want to see those, you've got to become a member to watch them. Or I think you can do like YouTube premium or something like that. But shout out to you guys, man. It's mad love. Shout out to my co-star today, Loki. He's tired. Uh, <laughs> he stayed up. He stayed up last night. Um, but shout out to you guys. I really do appreciate it. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.